Hi guys, I'm Rebecca, and these are my reviews, and this is my husband, and this is a bunch of rosé. So, Etude Wines, uh, they were kind enough to send me this bottle to review, and I thought it would be fun to do just a rosé tasting of different rosés. So this one, I believe, is made with Pinot Noir, and it's from Napa. It's a name I recognize. It's one of those you can kind of always count on their wines to be really good. So I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet. So, so is this more of like a breakfast wine, do you think, or is it? <laughs> There's a story behind that one. I have a friend who used to work at wineries and he was leading us through a tasting first thing in the morning. I was a little hungover and he told me to think of breakfast. Think of bacon as you taste this Chardonnay. It did taste a little bit bacony. You know, you think of it and suddenly you're like, yeah, this does taste like a good breakfast wine. <laughs> Our legal department would like to remind you that in no way are we recommending wine for breakfast. Oh, that is, it is light and refreshing and crisp smelling. And I forgot to taste it before mm, handing it to you. Yeah, yeah, lots of fruity and some florally notes to it. It's got a really pretty color. I mean, you can just see in this bottle, it's it's a clear bottle and it's got a really deep rosé color to it. Yeah, that's tasty AF. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not usually a huge fan of rosé, but that is actually pretty good. I always just feel like that's it's intense. Uh, diluted, like a diluted cab. <laughs> this one almost, oh, I'm like salivating. Um, that's got a lot of really intense flavors. I always think yeah. of rosés as a little more light. Mm -hmm. This is not mm -mm. that. This is almost more like a chilled red. You know, mm -hmm. like you were saying, like a diluted cab, but don't think of it that way. Mm -mm. Okay, so now- This is tasty. All right, I like that one. Okay, it's so good. I have some other ones. This one um, I got from a First Leaf box. This was Linguist Estates. It's like $20 a bottle. And- um, How much is the first one? You know, it's that one is also around twenty dollars a bottle, but I'm not sure where you can get it. They do have their own wine club. I was looking online, and they're currently sold out, and I can't find it. You can find it at some like random places, but I think generally, I'm just reviewing the wine in general, doing a rosé tasting. Sorry if you can't find this one, but Etude wines are generally good. Yeah. I would say. Check your local Circle K and uh, see what they have in stock. <laughs> hey, no attention to him. What do you think of that one? Uh, not as good. Not as good. Almost like a little sour. Oh, interesting. Um, definitely not as floral or bright. Um, yeah, now that I've had this one, and this is the first time I've obviously had any of these. Do we have a Snoop Dogg wine? Why don't mm -hmm. we start with the Snoop Dogg wine? I know. Well, Snoop I was Dogg's... all excited about the Etude. Okay. Uh, this one... Right? Huh. I'm not wrong It has more that. tart flavors in it. What did I say? Sour? Sour, yeah. Tart. Yeah. And um, it's like... Yeah, this one's just so much more complex. <laughs> it has, you know, a lot of really good flavors going on that really meld together. This mm -hmm. one's tart and refreshing and it's the kind of thing that you could drink you know on a hot summer day um uh, yeah i know we shouldn't have compared it to that one because that one's so much better it's a lot better all right <laughs> it just has you know better flavors this one is from black girl magic this is an, a black woman owned winery and i haven't tried any of their other wines i've been wanting to these ones also i believe are like in the 20 dollars range i think i picked this one up at trader joe's i've started seeing this brand carried pretty much everywhere so i'm excited to to try this one awesome these are all snoop dogg is is the least expensive one we have here really <laughs> yeah all right i think his is like 14. but that's by well that's less. by 19 crimes right yes which is kind of your you know 10 to 15 dollar <clears throat> range but you never know because like rich people tend to buy at wineries that's true okay so how's our mcbride sisters not so good um it might be good to people who aren't me we really shouldn't have started with that first one. right i know i should have <laughs> I knew that was going to be the best one. I don't know why I started with it. I was just all excited. It has a little bit of a syrupiness to it. Yeah. And it's much sweeter, I think. I yeah. mean, it's got those tart flavors, but... Yeah, I didn't get the sweetness that I that I got. In. Well, it certainly wasn't as bright. So, I mean, if you're mm -hmm. looking for something that's, you know, just very nice, light, and airy, I think this is, you know... This and is that is a dry rosé. Yeah, so, I mean, there's nothing terribly wrong with it, um, but that was the kind of thing that I noticed when I picked it up. Like, it just seems very syrupy mm. and it and it definitely has that that taste going for it too um 
it's kind of hard to point out a lot of the flavors in it. I feel like that one too, it also has that almost fizziness of a freshly opened bottle that needs to breathe a little bit. Let's let it breathe. So I don't want it to get warm, but I do feel like it, it'll be better tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Okay, so this is the Snoop Dogg Cali Rose from 19 Crimes. If you've never done it, 19 Crimes has an app where you can hold it over the picture uh, on the label and um, they'll talk to you. <laughs> it's really cool. That's my favorite thing about this wine. All right, come on, Snoop Dogg, don't let me down. Right. That is almost a dessert wine. Really? Super sweet? Yeah, I like that one a lot. <laughs> of course you do. very sweet. Yes. That's very sweet. I would like four more of those, please. My God, that's sweet. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with that one. That's like a wine slurpee. Yeah. Okay. That, that's, that's all you, buddy. That, that is a wine slurpee. Very excited. That's so sweet. Yeah. I will, I it's will, not bad. No, I will take a case, please. <laughs> okay. Now I want to go back and, and try um, the linguist estates. Fine. We need more friends to help us drink all this wine. See, now this doesn't taste sweet at all. Really? Oh, comparatively. Right? Yeah. And um, it tastes almost bland. <laughs> and it, it, it's a little sweet on the front. It just has a really tart back end on it. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me try the McBride sisters again. I think that needs more time. Definitely needs more time. This is still the most, honestly, the most delicious. It's the most complex. Yeah. It's got... Um, the most identifiable flavors. Yeah. Um, it has zero bad after. It has zero tartness for for aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Not that the oh. not that the Snoop one really does anyway. But the Snoop one is so the, the Snoop the, one is the Snoop Slurpee. Pure sugar. The Snoop Slurpee. Exactly. It's. I mean, if this I this is good. Choose, I could drink this all day. Yeah. I might drink this all day. Shit. <laughs> no, this is really good though. But you're right, it just, it's very smooth. It's not that sort of jarring tartness that we were getting from these two. It's definitely not crazy sweet like the Snoop. Yeah. It's really good, I like this a lot. First Leaf, some of their wines I really like, some of them not so much, and most of the time their wines are very middle of the road. You know, like they're fine, they're drinkable, I like them, it's easy peasy, I love me a good wine subscription box. Um, but if you want quality wine, <laughs> it sounds so rude, but if you do want quality wine, I would go straight to a winery <laughs> for like a wine club. Like you guys just pay the extra dollar dollar bills and get yourself some good wine. It is worth it. Life is too short to drink bad wine. It's straight to see me wine. That's my recommendation. Right? And that's my friend worked there. Also, they have amazing wines. Like, he's not wrong. <laughs> but yeah, this, w this one is, is fantastic. I'm really in love with this. It, it is really good. I yeah. mean, honestly, like, you know, I, I would happily drink these all day. This one is, is fine. It just didn't have much of the complexity that I was kind of hoping for. Although I don't know that I expected that much out of, out of a rosé to begin with. Um, you usually like rosés, though. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know that I expect much out of them. That's true. You know, like it's I, kind of like like if you think of it as a as a white mm -hmm. going in and not a red. Okay, there you it's go. It's not a watered down cab. It's a spritzed pink. up. It's a spritzed up white. It's a spritzed up white. I really want to try the other Snoop Dogg wines. Like I thought about doing just like a Snoop Dogg tasting because mm. Nineteen Crimes came out with Snoop. Like I think it's a red blend, maybe a. Something out there's a, there's a couple Just of them. Buy them all. I'm gonna buy them all. Just buy them all. It's starting to uh, settle a little. Okay. The McBride good. sisters, um, but it's still very syrupy. It is. And kind of heavy, you know. Uh, whereas this one is very light. One. No, I'm okay, kidding. Emily. Don't do that. <laughs> My sister's gonna watch this and be so offended. <laughs> she once filled a white that I was holding with red, so I don't. I worked at a bar where they told me if somebody orders the rosé, give them a glass of Chardonnay with a splash of whatever red. It's illegal. Yeah. That was my first bartending gig. I was like, okay, that's shady, but okay. Yeah, so the Etude is amazing, highly recommended, evidently, if you can find it at your local Circle K. Um, and I gotta get back to work. But yeah, love that one. It's really, really, it's good. really good. I would I would happily drink that um, all day. We should definitely keep a few of those. 
uh, yeah. around if we can locate them. Um, mm-hmm. But um, the 19 crimes, I'm uh, keeping for myself. It's all yours, baby. Awesome. It's all yours. We should do a tasting with just like different etude wines. Like, cause you know, like the, yeah, get done. a good Cabernet and maybe a Pinot Noir. Please let's do they're one. they're known the, for their Pinot. Yeah. And let's do one with the 19 crimes ones as well. Yeah. So if you guys want to see those different tastings, then let me know. Send us a bunch of bottles of wine. No. Also, oh, let us, us know. Yeah, let, just let us know. Send us bottles of wine. We'll buy the wine. <laughs> we'll start a GoFundMe. <laughs> You know, we should just have a Patreon account. Right. It's like, if you buy me a bottle of wine, I'll review it. I will leave all of the information in the description box as far as what we were tasting and all of that. And um, obviously this one's my favorite. And I'm not even being biased. Yes, these guys did send this to me, but it's honestly the best one. Yeah. And uh, I love me some Snoop Dogg, but that's not drinkable oh, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Sorry. That's why I have Colin here though, because we have very different taste buds. And, uh, you know, we, we balance each other out. We're yin and yang. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!